Hello. So this is my first vlog ever. Um, actually, probably my millionth vlog, but the first one I'm actually doing it with a cool HD camera and a cool microphone. You wanna buy a sundial? Yeah. Oregano. Anyway, so this is not gonna be a serious vlog at all because I have absolutely nothing interesting to vlog about. But, um, hmm. Something to do with dragons and dragons, possibly some onion breath and fumes, possibly some time travel, and hmm. I did this. See it. I was trying to point towards the microphone. That will not work. He can leave. Oh, hey, did I? Wee! Woohoo! Yeah! Anyway. So. Okay. This is gonna be really stupid and completely untrue. A couple facts may have been changed for the interesting factor in this story. Just, just saying. J.S. So I'm walking to work one day, and there's this dragon, right? And the dragon, it comes and it swoops in front of traffic. And the traffic stops. And I don't care. Because I'm used to seeing... I, actually, I'm not used to seeing that. Why wasn't it weird? I don't know. That's weird. But anyway. I believe it was about 6.42 in the morning, in the a.m., in the am, and it was not in the pum, it was definitely in the am, and the most amazing creature just came out of the sky, and I was like, what gives? But then something more interesting happened. It did nothing. Not a screech was to be heard. Not a howl was to be howled. Nothing at all. It didn't even scowl. You see what I did there? I rhymed. That's the... That's the something... Some big fancy word of a good storyteller. I'm not a good storyteller, so I'm surprised. Anyway... The dragon came, and in one fell swoop, it came and dragged me to hell. Well, it wasn't really hell, it was more like work, but hey, I got paid. Anyway, so they had this weird fumes, it tasted, it smelled like onion breath, like he'd eaten some kind of onion sandwich for breakfast, you know? And so, one thing led to another and ended up taking me to another dimension where I met my other self. <clears throat> and I wasn't weird. That was weird. And... Wow. It's really hard to make stuff up on the spot. Apparently. Hmm. Quite intriguing, really. Hmm. I need to put ketchup on this. They don't taste better. Anyway, so I talked to my other self, and I said, self, I said, we should do something about this, because this is very weird. Self said, self, he said, no. So, what am I going to do? You know, I can't, like, force myself to do something, I'm stubborn. So I just, you know, left, because apparently I didn't need anything else to get me out of the other dimension. I just left. There was a, a door with a very bright exit sign, so I went through it, and that's it. Went to work. It was very boring. My whole life flashed before my eyes. It was very boring. But, yeah, who's to say what would have happened if I didn't see the exit sign? Probably nothing. 
the dragon actually invited me for tea. But I don't like tea, so I said no. But note to self, if there's ever a dragon or a serial killer or anyone that has you in their older home, little dimension, and they offer you tea, you take the tea. Because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't like it if you didn't take the tea, but I don't really care because I don't like the tea. Except for peach, or raspberry, or mango, or chamomile, or what? I wonder if they have chocolate tea. They had chocolate soda once. I wonder if they had chocolate tea. <laughs> This is what I do my brother is not here. Because my brother is here. There's stuff to do. Plus, I don't do it when he's not here. Because it's weird. Yeah. It's intriguing, really. You can possibly hear me cleaning my glasses. You can't believe what you're saying. That meant nothing, by the way. Okie dokie. <laughs> so. What's the point of time? In a world far, far away, there was... How you say... Turtle? And the turtle is said to the giraffe. Hey, giraffe, how are you doing? And then he said to the turtle, I'm fine. Thank you for asking, turtle. By the way, I'm a giraffe. And then they saw a penguin. And then the penguin said, hi, giraffe. And hi, turtle. How are you doing? And then the giraffe said hi to the penguin. And then chaos ensued, you know? Because it's a zoo, you know? And so, oh cool, there's a blinky light on it. Anyway, so, <laughs> I want to play with that. It's a cool little thing right there. Anyway. <laughs> Fascinating. Gunny butt. I like the gunny butt. You have no idea what I'm talking about when I talk about the gunny butt. <laughs>